Yes, ma'am. I heard a scream. Uh -huh. So I called the manager. Now, the place was empty except for that damn dog in the other room. I opened the balcony door, moved the rail, slapped the bag, pancake time. That was the very much. He had a few drinks and he came home, but he wasn't alone. Someone else was with him in this apartment. There was a struggle and he was thrown over that balcony. Roger Bedacker didn't commit suicide. He was murdered. Well, that's a very entertaining story, but unfortunately real detectives have to worry about that little thing called evidence. Uh-oh. I think I heard a toilet flush. <laughs> Maybe somebody... Lost the turtle. <laughs> oh I guess I'm a little out of my league here. Good work. Good work. Oh, there is just one more thing, Lieutenant. This woman is Roger Bedacker's neighbor. She lives across the hall. She said she heard a scream. Is that right, ma'am? Right. And you said you had to open the balcony door when you keyed into the room? That's true. You're certain you had to open this door? Yeah, I'm certain. What's the point, Ventura? Only this. There's no way that neighbor could have heard Pedactor scream on the way down with that door shut. The scream she heard came from inside this apartment before he was thrown over the balcony and the murderer closed the door before he left. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have exercised the demon. This house is clear. Get him out of here, Let's go, eh? 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 Let's go,